through our ceremony today, I'm Chaplain Wayne Etter. I'd like to introduce Commander John Riggs of the William Passmore Carlin Camp 25 in Reno, Nevada. At this time, would you please join us as we play the Star Spangled Banner? And I'd like to make you aware that if it sounds a little different, this is the Civil War version of the Star Spangled Banner. My name is Colonel Harry Ermey, and there will be a special little ceremony directly following this, and that will be our 150th song of taps. Thank you. As Colonel Airman said, today's a special day, as this is the 150th anniversary of the song of taps. At this time, I'd like to introduce our commander. Camp, attention. Parade, rest. For others, we have met here as sons of Union veterans of the Civil War to consign to that house prepared for all the living the memory of a soldier of this country. These soldiers are Jed Gibbs Booth, Daniel B. Farber, Charles Fox, Fritz Hahn, John C. Lund, Daniel Thorndike. The march of this soldier is over. Let us remember our comrades here at rest under the blue skies of heaven, guarded by the silent stars that in life watched over him when he bivouacked on the battlefields or lay down weary and foot sore on the solar of the Southland. May we, as we stand here by this grave, remember that it is our duty as sons of Union a civil war to honor the memory of the men who stood shoulder to shoulder on the bloody battlefields, who graduated so faithfully, so honestly, and so well 
sank sacred bonds of statehood and who fought for the liberty and the dear old flag. They have passed away to the final review and upon us have devolved by sacred right of heritage to the duty of perpetuating the principles they fought for. May we not forget as the years roll on that we too shall have battles to fight, that in time we too shall be carried to the silent city of the dead and that our lives here should but fit us for the great bivouac of eternity. Uncover. God of battles and peace, ruler of the destinies of countries and of men, in this silent camping ground of the dead we come before thee, asking thy blessing as we honor the memory of these defenders of our country's honor. Wilt thou in thy infinite tenderness comfort those who mourn them? Wilt thou speak words of comfort and consolation to their sorrowing hearts? Look in mercy, we pray thee, upon the widows and orphans of deceased veterans everywhere. Bless and save from every evil the country for which this soldier and our fathers fought. Preserve it in purity and integrity. Bless the members of this order as they have gathered here in response to the call of love and duty to perform these rites of remembrance over these men. And at last grant that we may all meet before thy throne, and to thy name shall we ascribe praise both now and forever. Amen. On behalf of the Grand Republic, for those whose integrity and unity our late comrades offered his services during the War of the Rebellion, I deposit this flag. On behalf of the Sons of Union veterans of the Civil War, I give this tribute, a symbol of an undying love for the comrades of the war. Symbol of purity. For this lowly grave of a may future generations emulate the unselfish dedication to even the lowliest of our heroes. sons of comrades in arms. We crown these remains with the symbol of victory.